Whenever I make a blog post, I like to add some kind of rich content, like a picture or video, to help tell my story and make my blog more compelling to look at. This post is about a trip I took to France, and I want to add some of the best pictures and video that I captured. To insert a picture, I choose Picture from the Insert menu and select the picture I want to insert. Whenever an image is selected, Writer shows a contextual sidebar that provides controls specifically for modifying the image in the post. The picture sidebar always shows when a picture is selected and will automatically hide when no picture is selected. Writer lets me resize the image by dragging the corners. I can also use the picture sidebar to modify how the picture looks inside the post. For instance, I can modify the alignment, margins, and pick a different border style. Writer will automatically create a larger version of my picture and link the thumbnail in my post to it so that people can see the picture in a larger size when reading my blog. I can control the size of that image using the Link To settings in the sidebar. I can also specify that the image links to something different altogether, like another web page. There are also special effects that can be applied using the Effects tab in Writer. For example, I can make the picture black and white or apply a watermark. Inserting a video into Writer is just as easy as a picture and works with almost any video service available today. I can find my video on the web that I want to insert and copy the web address or embed for that video onto the clipboard using Control C or the context menu. Then I select Video on the Insert menu in Writer and paste the content of the clipboard to the Video URL or Embed field. After a preview of the videos created, I click the Insert button to insert the video. Like pictures, I can resize the video or use the sidebar to add a caption, change the alignment and margins. As a shortcut, I can also paste the URL or embed and the video will insert automatically. I also have a Windows Live ID and can use the video feature in Writer to log in directly to Soapbox and insert the videos that I've uploaded or tagged as favorites. I also want to include a map that shows where I went on my trip. With Writer, that's easy. I click Map on the Insert menu, type the name of the location or address I want, in this case, I type my location, and Writer finds it for me and lets me modify the map and insert it into my post. Like pictures and videos, I can change the size, alignment, and caption on the map. Because it was so helpful, I also want to include a link to the name of the travel guide book I used on my vacation. I was able to do this in Writer with a plugin that I downloaded from Windows Live Gallery that inserts book details from Amazon. A plugin is a small program that you download to add features to Writer. Windows Live Gallery is where people upload plugins that they've created to share them with other people like me. It's easy to download a plugin into Writer. Simply click on the Add a Plugin link, then find a plugin on Windows Live Gallery and click the Download button. When the plugin finishes installing, it's available to use with Writer immediately. To disable a plugin, go to the Plugin tab of the Options dialog, select the plugin you want to disable, and click the Disable button. To uninstall a plugin, go to the Windows Control Panel, select Add or Remove Programs, select the plugin that you'd like to remove, and click the Remove button.